So now in this video, we're going to wire the 555 timer in a circuit that's not commonly uh, known, but it's nice, simple, and an interesting circuit. So we got the uh, 555 timer. We have to power it. We're going to power it with 5 volts, so ground to the negative rail, and then VCC there, the VCC pin to the positive rail. We don't want the reset pin to reset the 555 timer, so we put it directly to the positive rail right there. You could also use a resistor. The main thing is it's waiting for a low voltage to reset the 555 timer, and that jumper prevents it. Pin 2, the trigger pin, and pin 6 down here, the threshold pin, they monitor uh, voltages, and we want them to monitor the same voltage in this circuit. So I just have a little jumper going across them. Pin 2 is waiting for one third of the supply voltage to set the output high and then pin 6 is waiting for two thirds of the supply voltage to set the output low. To set the voltage at the trigger and threshold in this circuit we have going another jumper there to the middle pin of the trim pot there. So it's uh, wired as a voltage divider. If I turn it all the way up to uh, that jumper we got 5 volts. If I turn it all the way down to that jumper we got 0 volts and we have any voltage in between. The first LED we're going to add to the output is this blue LED. So that's the long lead, the anode, to the uh, yellow jumper there, to the red rail, short lead the cathode to a 1000 ohm resistor. We're going to go a little higher in resistance with the blue LED because it's naturally brighter. So it's going to that third pin down the output. When the output's low, basically it's connected to ground, and then the blue LED will light up. Also to the output now I have a red LED. You can see we got the 220 ohm resistor to the third pin down coming to the long lead, the anode of the red LED, short lead the cathode going to ground there, the negative rail. And uh, that is it for this circuit. So it's an inverter because you can see I got the trim pot set up to uh, 5 volts right there and the output's going as close to 0 volts as it can go. That's why the red LED is not lit up but the uh, blue LED is. If I turn the trim pot down, you're going to see somewhere about uh, a third of the way towards the negative rail, two thirds of the way down, you can see the red LED lights up. So we're connected to ground there. That's also ground. So that means that the output has to be as close to the positive supply as it can get. So the output is going the opposite of what we set at the uh, trim pot. The reason why it's called a Schmidt trigger is because there's a middle ground hysteresis. So Remember it flipped at a one third, but now we gotta go up to two third to change the output. Now it's gonna stay until we go back down to one third. The uh, one third and two third voltage are the threshold, and this middle ground is the hysteresis, where it stays in whatever condition you last put it in. So as a reminder, I'm using five volts for this circuit, and uh, that's about it. So hope you enjoyed. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting on the screen. Click like, subscribe, the bell, all that. Donate to Patreon if you can, that helps out the most. But just watching videos helps out a ton. Thanks for that. I'll see you in the next video.